1973, the National Association of Collegiate Basketball Writers named the top 15 rookie players in the nation, granting them the Hirschberger Award and earning them national media attention. That year was the award's first, and well, it was its last, because as we are revealing today for the first time, it was all one big hoax. Now join us is Wall Street Journal reporter Rachel Bachman and one of the key ringleaders of the pranks, Tom Duncan. Tom, thanks for being with us. You prankster, you sit right there because I want to get the unbiased story from Rachel <laughs> just right now. Rachel, this could go down in history as one of sports' greatest hoaxes. What happened? Uh, well, it started very innocently with four college juniors at the college, William and Mary. They hatched a plan to award this uh, honor to the top 15 freshmen in the country, freshmen, sophomores, rookies, and um, got it out on the Associated Press wires, <laughs> and long story short, everybody bought it. You know what? If you're going to go, go big. Uh, Tom, I want to bring you in here. You're, this is uh, 40 years later. Um, you're a little bit more mature, I guess, at this point. What possessed you guys in the first place to do this? Just to see if it could be done, um, see if we could get away with it. There was no, no great scheme beyond beyond that. And were you, why are you coming clean now? Is this because uh, Rachel outed you guys here? Mainly because Rachel happened to walk into uh, Steve Knoll's office down in Florida to, on a completely different matter, and he ended up saying, "Oh, by the way, would you like to hear about this?" Uh, there was no master plan and no, you know. 40th anniversary you know, press release that we were going to send out. It more or less happened, but this is as good a time as any, actually. And we <laughs> not, may not be around for the 50th anniversary, so. You know, you guys went to some elaborate steps to make this award look very real back then, even giving it the name of a, uh, a fake sports writer that sounded very real, Leo G. Hirschberger. I couldn't have come up with one better. What other things did you do to make people buy into this? We just picked out the name Leo G. Hirschberger because it brought, brought to our minds the... Uh, the mental image of a you know, crusty uh, sports reporter, you know, with in a white sleeve, uh, short sleeve shirt, and and um, we we developed uh, stationery under the name of the National Association of Collegiate Basketball Writers with a logo serving the sport, and we de we developed um, certificates. Each of the recipient was indeed uh, getting a certificate that that showed that he was a rookie All-American for 1972 and 1973. And you picked very well because many of these players actually did go on to do great things in basketball. And Rachel, you've been talking to some of them. Uh, they didn't know it was a hoax until now, many they, of them. They did not. They were completely surprised. Um, so far, they've been really impressed with the <laughs> right. moxie of these guys and also the professionalism, uh, professionalism with which they carried it out. So, you know, high reviews from the players. Tom, you're a retired uh, attorney from the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, William and Mary, do you think you're going to, are they going to try and take your diploma back? What do you think is going to happen when this gets out there? I hope they just laugh about it. That's what they should do. I think they probably will. All right, great sports stories. Great, Rachel Bachman, thanks so much for being with us. Tom Duncan, prankster, sports guy. Appreciate it.